Greetings. This is a Cyberi broadcast updating you on the latest and greatest developments in the world of science and technology. A virus called M13 has the power to change the world, quite literally. A team of scientists at the Berkeley Lab have genetically engineered M13 viruses to emit enough electricity to power a small LED screen. M13 poses no threat to humans, it can only infect bacteria, but it could one day serve humanity by powering your laptop, or even your city. The secret of M13 lies in something called the piezoelectric effect, which happens when certain materials like crystals, or viruses, emit a small amount of power when squeezed. M13 exhibits this effect, and also has the handy ability to organize itself into tidy, invisible sheets of film, which can be activated by any kind of motion. M13 is a natural power source, but researchers enhanced its output by genetically engineering the virus, adding some negatively charged amino acids to one end of its tough outer shell. Basically, the GMO version of M13 became a better voltage generator, because it had a negatively charged end and a positively charged end, thus aiding the flow of electricity. According to a release from Berkeley Lab, they created the conditions for genetically engineered viruses to spontaneously organize into a multi-layered film that measures about one square centimeter. This film was then sandwiched between two gold-plated electrodes, which were connected by wires to a liquid crystal display. When pressure is applied to the generator, it produces up to 6 nanoamperes of current and 400 millivolts of potential. That's enough current to flash the number one on the display, and about a quarter the voltage of a AAA battery. Obviously this is a beta version of what's to come. Berkeley bioscientist S.E.U.N.G. Wakley, who worked on the project, is hopeful that it can pave the way for more research into virus-powered electronics. Update complete. Please take this time to like the video, or favorite if you really enjoyed it. Also subscribe, if you had not done so already, or visit the channel to see any of the previous videos. All of this helps the community grow and inform more people. Thank you.